just arrived at the um, supposed to be a Riverside Meadow Trail. I think I'm going to walk down or hike to the falls. I think it's probably a good 10 kilometers round trip. So this should be a good place to boondock for the night. Go on a nice hike and then back and relax. What do we have down here? Maybe uh, it was an old... I don't know what that would be, something... Oh, could it... No, I don't think it'd be a... End of an old bridge or something. Because we are close to the river. I'll walk down and... Oh, there we go. That's the main trail. Let's go down and take a look. Yeah, probably supports for a bridge at one time. But uh, I go on this way. Should be up to the river in about uh, half a kilometer here. There's the river off in the distance there. About uh, 600 meters. But we'll be right down beside it shortly. I don't know what the temp today. It's uh, I didn't check, but. Got to be around 18 degrees Celsius, and it's only uh, oh, 12 o'clock now, high noon. I didn't bring any water. I didn't want to pack the big. I didn't have a small jug, so that should be fine though. Kind of like a camel. Keep an eye out for those mountain lions. I do have my bear spray, a hunting knife. Hopefully, I don't need it. It's a little uh, observation post. Nice. Have a little picnic here or something. Just relax, right? Supported by Grand Forks Rotary. And this explains everything about the shelter. Generous donation made by Don Reed. Thanks, Don. Rest in peace. It's like uh, April 13th, 14th, 14th, flowers are coming up. And look at this, some chairs, you can just sit down and relax and enjoy the view. But call me paranoid, but I don't like having my back to the bush and trail, but we can for a moment. Oh yeah. This is the life. Water always finds a way to come out, eh? Seeps out of the cliff here. 
And look at that, they got connections or hooks fastened so you can practice rock climbing here. Or in fact, do rock climbing. Nice. I like to keep an eye out for the unusual when I'm hiking. And looky what I find here. Looks like a kill site. Kill site, all right. Uh, probably a deer. If I was a guessing man, I'd say a deer. A deer, but it's kind of in a it's like frickin' shit pile. Huh. Maybe the bear, whoever ate the deer, uh, had a nice crop. I don't know. Interesting, interesting. Okay, back on the main path, kind of shaded, which is nice. Got to keep cool. I don't know if it's a scientific fact or not, but I like to breathe through my nose rather than my mouth. When I'm not talking, of course, because I think you uh, expel more moisture from the body when you're breathing through your mouth than your nose. You think that's a fact, or what do you think? Anyway, I don't think I'm even halfway yet. Another kill. What do you surmise that is now? Skunk? Badger? That's kind of small for a badger. Interesting. Onward, onward. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. To your left, to your left. Is anyone else paranoid like me when I'm hiking? No matter where I am, I like to turn around once in a while and make sure nothing's stalking me, human or animal. Might be paranoid, but it doesn't hurt. Sometimes when you're hiking, you gotta stop and have a little bit of jerky. Okay, back on track. I think I'm about uh, a good three kilometers yet to go. So far, so good. Well, it's a bit further than I anticipated, but uh, can't stop now, right? I don't think it's more than a couple kilometers. This land is your land, this land is our land From the Grand Forks County to the St. Paul Division From New York City to Vancouver Island This land is made for me and you
getting kind of thirsty. That water looks quite inviting. Uh, let me I'll wait till I get to the river and take it from there. I used to drink out of the stream as a kid. I can't see it being a problem, right? Just strain it through my teeth. You know, I've only seen uh, people on bikes and mostly uh, mostly uh, electric bikes or electric assist. Am I the only crazy guy out here walking, hiking, walking, hiking? So far, that's all right. Burn about uh, a couple thousand calories. It's the best, best place to do it. Why go to the gym when the world is your gym? All right. Okay. Okay, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. I recognize that red roof. A little information uh, display they have there about the Cascade Falls. So yeah, it's going to be about uh, two and a half hours one way. Not too bad, not too bad. So we'll check out these falls, have a nice rest, soak my feet a little bit, eat the rest of my beef jerky, and then head her back. Kettle River Heritage Trail, foot pass, trade routes, and stories. Yeah, a lot of lumber at one time here. A lot of lumber. Nice map, all the different areas. You can hear the river from here. How's the water? Uh, you got a YouTube channel? <laughs> yeah. Right on, what is it? Canadian Dreamer. Thanks. Thank you. No, I was just in for a swim. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that. But let's go down and check. Oh yeah. If nothing else, it's very beautiful. That's actually the first time someone asked me about a YouTube channel right off the go. It's nice. Easy to remember, CanadianDreamer.com Or just search Canadian Dreamer on YouTube. You know what? It's coming up, but it's not as high as it uh, normally is, that's for sure. It's, uh, the sand and everything's usually covered right in water. Of course, it's only April, so there might be a big increase yet.
to check off the bridge there from the bottom. Then we'll go around up top. You gotta be kind of careful here because uh, you sure wouldn't want to fall in. Might be the last thing to do. I'm sure footed like a goat. There we go. Looks like someone's got a uh, a rope in the bridge. Probably for swinging, eh? Swinging off the shore. A lot of people dive off this rock right here into the water when it's uh, not churning so fast. Let's go over to the corner there and wet my feet. Take her easy. Okay, top view. Top view from the bridge. At one time a train used to go over here. Back in the day, back in the day. I actually flew my drone right down underneath this bridge and up on the other side. That is in my uh, on my channel there, if you search for drone in Kettle River, or drone bridge, or Kettle River Bridge, you should find it. Or maybe I'll put a link in this video or in the description. Very nice. Okay, about two and a half hours here. Should be able to make it back in about two because I no need stopping to take video unless something very interesting comes up. And I'm not going to drink out of the river because it's all stirred up. As soon as I get to that first stream, you bet you I'm going to have a few shots. Okay, here's some interesting information. Looks like I'm uh, 19 kilometers from Grand Forks. But I think my van is parked about 4 kilometers. So what? About 15 kilometers I walked here? Can't be. Uh, and those chairs I sat at, little red chairs, put my feet up, they're 9 kilometers. Holy shit. So I'm like walking 20 kilometers on this walk or hike. I wonder my feet are getting sore. Oh well. No pain, no gain. Or sometimes there's just pain and there is no gain anyway. Sometimes there's pain and there's gain, but in this case I'll, I'll survive either way. It's just feet might be a little sore for a couple days. That's life when you gotta enjoy the nature. I wish I would have caught that on the video, but there's a got back to that fresh kill and there's an eagle eating on it. it. Flew up into this tree. Might take off again, we'll see it fly. And it was eaten away. Pretty darn big one uh, you get close. There she goes. To the next tree. Uh, 
Just gonna wait till I pass and back to eating. It's all right, it's part of nature. Everybody's gotta eat. Everybody's gotta eat. That's for sure. Well, I gotta come off the trail and go down and rest my feet for a bit. I'm in no hurry. When I get back before dark, that would be nice, but uh, take her easy a bit. There's even a chair here for me to sit on. Isn't that nice? Okay, rest over. Back on the trail. I won't get there unless I get there. It's a good place to boondock sometime. Next time, maybe. Oh yeah, there's the dream machine. Looking good on the hill. Yeah, I'm gonna camp right there tonight. A lot of the view from the highway, so uh, I think it's fine, but you never know. We're getting stickier and stickier on where you can camp overnight or boondock, so. But worst case scenario, I move on if someone with authority knocks on the door. But for now, I'm going to relax, get some hydration going cook up or warm up my chicken stew, homemade chicken stew. Oh yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Oh yeah, fridge at 7C, so that's perfect. Oh, that's going to taste good. Ah. Woo! Good hike. Ah. Okay, I had a nice rest. Feet are feeling better. Now I'm just going to heat up some homemade stew I made. It was frozen. The fridge is so good it didn't even thaw out for the whole day, which is fine. But uh, we'll heat it up and voila. I think I'm going to sleep good tonight. Something to eat. Relax. Should be nice and quiet here once the traffic dies down. I'm about, uh, well, you, I don't know if you can see, but there's a, the highway through the trees there. But sure peaceful, anyway, right now. And then I gotta get up tomorrow. I got, um, 
I'll explain it when I'm having the meal here. Kind of what the what the plans are. How the day went. Okay, she's looking good. Bubbling away. Um, I just shut that off because time that uh, simmers down there sits for a bit. It will uh, it'll be great. Just let her sit for a bit, and cool off. We're good to go. I'm not really all that hungry, but I'll eat some of it. It's already uh, what time is it? Uh, my watch is an hour off, so 18.30. It's already 9.30 p.m. Okay, nice, got the nice chicken stew all heated up. Mm, good stuff, good stuff. You know it's chicken stew, not beef stew. But the economy can't really afford the beef, right? But I got chicken backs. Chicken backs are pretty cheap. It's a little bony, but that's all right. There's still quite a bit of meat on there. Good stuff. So that was a good hike today. Uh, a little longer than I anticipated. I uh, thought it was like it'd be about 10 kilometers, but it turned out to be about 20. So it's a little bit different. But anyway, saw some great scenery, saw a few animals, those kills are interesting, uh, and I would recommend in the future not wearing sandals, because the sandals, my Mexican sandals weren't quite good enough, but I managed to push through, right, got to push through sometimes, and we made it. Uh, so I'm just going to wind down tonight here. I got a side hustle tomorrow with a couple. They're going to cook me breakfast at 8.30 and then I'm going to get done whatever they need done. And uh, get my cash and then pew, on to the next one. Since I moved to BC, I haven't worked a 9 to 5. I don't want to work for the man or the woman. I'd rather have my freedom. Less work, more freedom. But, you know, I have worked hard over the past 30, 35 years and saved up a little nest egg. So I'm not going to work more than I need to and still have everything I need. Everything I, basically everything I want. I don't want big fancy toys or anything. Live within my means. Don't have no worries, no debt. That's how it is. And on the 29th, heading to Alberta visit some family and uh, look for some land. I got this crazy idea since uh, it's all paid off here, the little place me and my brother have. Utilities are cheap, you know, so uh, I was thinking I could live here maybe in six months over the winter, like fall, winter, a little bit of spring, and then Alberta for six months because I really don't like that. Alberta winters so kind of the best of both worlds but you know once I get there and set and set up I might you know it's no big deal and uh, but that's the thing in life you can uh, try things you don't like it adjust do something else right you don't have to be set in the same thing forever and not change your plan I'm not a woman but I can still change my mind but um, hopefully you like the video uh, give it a thumbs up like if you don't mind, comment. I love the comments. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. And don't remember to ever forget about dreaming your dream. You got to dream your dream. See you next time.